friends. My name is Felix. Welcome to the USA Test Prep Classroom. In this video, we will be measuring large objects with several smaller objects. We will be finding the length of objects. Say length. The length of something is how long it is. The length of the desk is how long it is. The length of the chalkboard is how long it is. Let's go to the art room to learn more about length measurement. Follow me. I found these small paint pots in the art cabinet. Each of these paint pots are exactly the same size. This is very important when using them to find the length of larger objects in the room. Look at this big paintbrush. Let's find the length of this paintbrush. First, lay the paintbrush flat. Next, Take a paint pot and place it at the very tip of the handle. Place the next paint pot up against the first one. Make sure there is not a space between the pots. We keep placing the paint pots side by side until we reach the other side of the paintbrush. How many paint pots long is this paintbrush? Correct! This paintbrush is five paint pots long. We found two large pencils. Each of these pencils are the same length. Alexis and Erica placed the paint pots to measure length. Which one measured correctly? Yes, Alexis measured correctly because there are no spaces between the pots. We found some toy cars. Alexis and Erica used these cars to measure the length of the large pencils. Which one measured correctly? Great job! Erica measured correctly. Each of her cars is the same size. You should only measure larger objects with smaller objects that are all the same size. Let's take the cars Erica found and place them end to end. We can now use them to measure the length of more objects. What is the length of this red firefighter book? Yes, this book is six cars long. The book is placed at the end of the first car. We then look to the other side of the book and count the cars. What is the length of this sold out sign? Correct, this sign is five cars long. Let's go back to the classroom to wrap up. We learned a lot about measuring length today. Always make sure that the objects you are measuring with are all the same size. Also make sure that the objects are placed side by side without any spaces in between. Place the larger object at the end of the first smaller object. Then look at the other end and count the smaller objects in between. See ya and keep learning.